Can you link me? You're really so close. Sabi mo kadit mo siya kagabi. Yes. Si Andre, what's the story with Andre? Parang hindi kayo gan. No, everything is okay. Everything is okay. I think, um, as 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 showbiz as Andre is, I think because he grew up ang gulo ng life namin and everything. There's some things he wants to keep private. Ah okay. You know, I just want to respect it. Hindi na siya magboast. Hindi na. Parang um, nung medyo naguguluhan pa siya in the beginning. Nag-unfollow na ako muna sa kanya. Parang lang hindi siya nag-pressure na kailangan niya mag-follow, kailangan niya mag-like. And that's fine. You just give him, you give him time. Pero ngayon, you follow each other na? Um, I don't know if I followed her. You know, I, it looks like I'm very active on social media. I don't know how to use some of the buttons. <laughs> so, means mean, sangat, may mga nagbabash sa akin wrong spelling or okay. So, you don't see him as regular as Kobe? I don't what? You don't see him as regular as Kobe? Um, not as re because he's super busy. Andre works almost every day. So and then workout and then basketball. Pero walang pagbabawal from the stepmom or. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. And I don't want to. Ayo ko nang bigyan ng kahit anong kulay pa because everything's okay na and what happens happens. And you know what? They're adults now, so. Yes. Mm. So Ikaw kasi moment with Gobi, oh, nakikita namin. Dami. With Andre. Ayaw nga. Kayong dalawa ba meron? Di kayong time na kayong dalawa lang? You go out with meron. 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 Oh, meron, meron. Actually, last night, I invited him also to Maggie's birthday. And he said he he would go if he was free, but he had a lot of things. So. Mm. But Gobi's more like you. He's a lot like you me. Know, it's yeah. scary. It's a, uh, <laughs> temperament. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a nice word. I think, I think I think it's more honest. I was okay, honest, very honest. And Tito Alfi would tell me before, Tito Alfis want to talk, right? But he would say, Alam mo, masyado ka kasing takle sa pala sa showbiz. <laughs> For showbiz. But I feel like I grew up in America where everything is straightforward. Yes, you know what I mean? Right. But now, fast forward to 2020. People appreciate more when you're open and honest. Yes, like yes, I would yes. prefer that you didn't like me because I say the right, I mean the honest things, right? Then you like me and plastic palaho. You know what I mean? I prefer that. Then I know that our friendship is genuine because you know who I am and you know na kaya ako magsalita. Like right, right. So I think I'm just too honest for my own good. Look, the temperament, ah. <laughs> no, but, but you know, Kobe. So the relationship with him now, I love it because I love. It's a little bit scary, but I love it because I kind of I feel like I know how to approach things with him. Whereas before, he was telling me like, "Oh, people don't understand me." Blah blah blah. So he comes to me for a lot of a lot of things, and I appreciate it so much because I feel like at least na naram daman ko na naram daman niya na. There's something there na hindi niya na kapwa sa ibang tao. He is his mother's son, actually. Yeah. You're also his manager, ba, Jack? Like yung mga H and M niya, ikaw barang di deal. Okay, so in the beginning when he first came back, he didn't really want anyone to know, and because Kobe doesn't want to do showbiz, he's not showbiz. He's really an Kobe. athlete, which is the new flip side known as he can't. Ang hirap because he's so creative. If you mm. talk to Kobe about him fashion or mm -hmm. ideas, niya, and dami, and dami. But I feel like he just needs to learn how to handle it, right? And then, um, so in the beginning, I was the one helping him because he didn't want people to think that he wanted to do a lot, a lot of things. So I was helping him in the beginning. But then, as you know, he he decided to stay longer. Uh, ask your dad for more help and more advice. I think now, I think now he went back to Viva. I don't, I don't like talking to him about things like that unless he comes to me. Ayo mong magiging yung pakialamera na mama. As an endorsement, it's Viva. It's Viva. It's Viva. Mm -hmm. it's Viva. So you have transplanted from China to the Philippines for good, right? For good. For good. Hopefully for good. Mm -hmm. Right now, right now, I hope we're here for five years at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and then if things go well, then. And so the kids who uh, go to school here. Yeah, they're going to school here. Yeah. Every they're all settled in. It's 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 funny because um, the yung last na move namin from London to China, medyo nagyak sila because 
lang. How long did you stay in London? Uh, mm-hmm. A year and a half. A year and a half. Thank almost China two years. Almost for, um, China, China almost a year. A year. So, year. pero nung nalaman nila sa China, lilipat kami ng Manila. Oh my gosh. Gusto namang pa-party. <laughs> They're so happy. Oh, no. Sa talaga dito. Yeah. They know they love the Philippines. If you talk to my children, okay, yeah. Filipino food, they love the beach, they love the sun, they don't like the traffic. <laughs> but, but everything yeah. else, and all our friends are so here. So, my age is 10. So, 13, uh, 13, 9, and 4. All of them were born in the U.S. or Mexico? Or um, yung dalawa sa Singapore and Jared Singapore. Philippine. Oh, Singapore. Yeah. The, the third is the in the Philippines. The what? The first two uh, were born in the Philippines. No, Jared was Philippines. <laughs> and the was Singapore. Uh, <laughs> it was, okay. Kaylee was born in Singapore, then we okay. went to Malaysia, then we went back to Singapore, then I had Johan. Oh, yeah.